President Desiree Delano Bouterse heeft grote waardering voor de hechte band en ontwikkelingsrelatie tussen Suriname en China. Het staatshoofd sprak op woensdag 25 september 2019 tijdens de receptie in de ballroom van Hotel Torarica in verband met het 70-jarig bestaan van de Volksrepubliek China op 1 oktober. On behalf of the Chinese Embassy, I would like to express a warm welcome to Your Excellency, Mr. President and the Madame and other distinguished guests for joining us tonight in celebrating the 70th anniversary of the founding of the People's Republic of China. On behalf of the government and the people of the Republic of Suriname, I warmly congratulate President Xi Jinping, his government and the people of the People's Republic of China. The past 70 years has been a remarkable journey in the course of the Chinese history. Under the strong leadership of the Communist Party of China, the once poverty-stricken country has scored profound achievements, which not only transformed China, but also greatly influenced the world. Last year, China's GDP reached 90 trillion Chinese yuan, which was about three times of that of Japan. And for many consecutive years, China contributed over 30% to the growth of world economy. We know China from CNN, from früher with armoede and that sort of thing. Today, the day, they are the second biggest economy in the world. They have 700 million people out of poverty. En ze gaan verder, want ze willen in 2020 willen ze iedereen uit de armoede hebben in China. Dus dat is een hele grote prestatie. Bij de afschaffing van de slavernij zelfs, uh, daarvoor hebben de, de kolonisten, de Nederlanders toen, hebben toen uh, gedacht om Chinese contractarbeiders te laten halen als proef. En daarbij waren de eerste Chinezen in Suriname gekomen. En sindsdien is het alleen maar... Beter op geworden, er kwamen steeds meer Chinezen, waardoor wij nu op dit moment uh, in Suriname de grootste samenleving van Chinezen in de regio hebben. Naast ook de grootste samenleving van Indonesiërs in, in Suriname hebben. Dus dat is, uh, de, samen, de samenwerking is, is top, want het zijn diaspora mensen. This year. Together, we will commemorate the 166th anniversary of the arrival of Chinese immigrants to Suriname. Our Chinese brothers and sisters are contributing to Suriname's development at all levels. In this regard, I applaud your initiative, an initiative called The Chinese in Me. Our first lady, our first lady, my dear wife Ingrid, for example, descendants from Chinese ancestors. I think the exhibition will be a great opportunity to showcase our connectedness, connectedness throughout the many decades and a opportunity to tell the important story of our harmonious past. It is remarkable that within only seven, year, seven decades, the Chinese people have transformed the country into a great nation. We have witnessed inspiring unified actions, impressive technological achievements and steady economic growth that has lifted more than 700 million Chinese people out of poverty.
But one thing that uh, over the last 70, 70 years, we really have made a miracle in the, in the development of China. As I said, China's GDP is now three times of Japan. And we contribute 30% of growth of world economy. Uh, we have uh, enough confidence to do better, to do even to struggle for a better future for our country, for the world, for the relationship between Suriname and China. I, I hope that the Chinese community will continue to contribute to the friendly and harmonious relationship with the every ethnic, ethnic groups. So because they are part of Suriname, they are one family. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Ambassador. Thank you. To the prosperity of two countries and the happiness of our two peoples, to the health of President Baltasar, President Xi Jinping, and everybody present here tonight. Proust, cheers, thank you well. I once again congratulate the People's Republic of China with its 70th anniversary. Cheers, thank you, Xi Xi.